Here are some more Tartarian thoughts with Art of Dino, and this is going to a place that is very close to where I grew up, and I always remember driving through this place, but from even from when I was very young to yesterday. This is the Canton Viaduct in Canton, Massachusetts, and I feel it holds some secrets that just need to be thought of, or something about this place is mysterious, very interesting. This place has an interesting history. I think it was built in 1836, they claim, which is when a lot of interesting things are claimed. And this is underwater. Usually those where these people are standing is underwater nowadays. So this is one time when, I mean, I, I, I maybe even goes further underneath. We'll never know. But it's a very interesting old photo. And this shows the Paul Revere factory in the background. That was an old factory that he worked at or his family had a lot of stake in. And uh, this is an overhead view from, I think, the 60s or whatnot of the area. It's very long. This is a postcard, again, from a very earlier time, and it looks pretty similar, except that, I mean, this thing has stood the test of time. It is, it is apparently, they say, a Freemason work, but I believe it goes a lot deeper, and I believe they're hiding some stuff, because there are some symbols all over this thing, and it's just kind of nuts. And it's huge, and it is the second oldest one in the country, and strongest. This is the Carrollton. Uh, viaduct and that's the other existing one that's in history as being the top number one oldest one it's still standing and look at how different it was it had those coverings and now it doesn't now it has those stones which is very interesting because what if this other one in Canton had that covering at one point pretty interesting and so now here we are back in Canton these this is the very left side how it starts very like from what you we can see above that's how the first bricks it appears probably were the first stones and I'm gonna bring you from that corner to all the way around this place and it's very massive when you're standing there there's a couple shops and bars around it now and the train runs on top of it and it's very it's very strong these marks are very interesting I'm not sure what they are but the fact now that the Acela the speed train runs through this is very interesting and there's no problems with it and though again those marks in the upper left corner and you'll see a lot of other symbols that I documented in photos like these all these symbols that are in stone carvings they're just carved in enough to be like seen still and they're uh, you know they're not like very impressive they're a little they're a little sloppy and there's a lot of them and they and they vary and there's so many on different things so a lot of people claim that these are the Freemasons kind of um, making their marks on this and um, it very well could be but it's they it doesn't make sense to me why someone would have to mark this a stone when you're building like this is a it's a pretty ego maniacal thing when it's just you're cutting a stone but I mean uh, I, I don't know you obviously had to have some kind of heavy stone machinery I think in order to build this and I believe it's all just some kind of just false history that they um, that they ended up taking freely and uh, you never know this one was actually Gunka that was in a place that could have been carved by someone nowadays but a lot of the other spots were in spots that couldn't have been unless you repelled down and carved or if you were building it so you never know but there is a lot of um, mystery about these symbols and there's a lot of variation and there's a lot of different letterings in some and the symbol it doesn't seem to be too much rhyme or reason to them it looks like a chicken's foot <laughs> but there's there's a couple different random holes at one point there was piping involved so I can I show those pictures later of the of the pipes or of where the pipes were but a lot of these symbols just very interesting they're pretty primitive they remind me of a Reuben cave drawings are just different like cave carvings but you know I'm not willing to really I'm not really sure you know because this structure is very strong but you never know what's inside it there could be something inside it and these were interesting are where these red blocks were there was a lot of different things where part of the stone had a red in it I don't know if that's blood or something or just some kind of uh, you never know mixed in with a stone or if it's just old or if it's there to mark something that's behind that stone like I don't know I don't know what these um, these things are but there's a lot of them here you can just look at these areas for hours and really just continuously find more and more they just keep appearing and I wonder how many had been rubbed off at one point or had been smoothed out over time or or what you know this could have been the undershelling and then when they tore the shell off of this ancient cultures viaduct or whatever it was, they uh, just decided to carve their little uh, their little symbols into this or something. 
or it could be some other weird and interesting language or whatever that even the people that built it before ended up putting in or something pre-1834 I always find it interesting when something is like the strongest most secure like build the strongest thing ever and it's around 1830s when all these mysterious things were built and it's claimed claimed by the Freemasons so you gotta always be a little skeptical and this is where the waterfall runs out and same with that Carrollton one it, it has a waterfall near it and that's the tube that, that where it runs underneath the tunnel underneath the street so that's another stone structure that's pretty impressive it had these kind of coming into it and these I'm sure a little bit more modern but this next one I'm very curious about look at the metal surrounding this this one is very interesting very like iron and like something something was there that could be part of it looks like a giant muffler of something I that was very interesting I don't know what that is, but I'd love to see what's underneath that. And I'm sure people have at times, and then it's just been covered up. You know, 1836, you could rewrite anything with a generation. Nowadays, all it takes is just a website readjusting and t adding different text into a website, and people will do book reports on it forever. Like, you, you never know, rewriting history all the time. And these are really cool. I got, um, I really like that area. I'd love to take like a little kayak around it. It'd be pretty nice. But more symbols over here. And these symbols were also, I was looking around online, and I'll show you at the very end, there's some symbols just like this in the streets of London, um, to other streets around Britain, I think probably all over the world. So it's very interesting there that they exist, and I'm, I'm not sure, I couldn't find anywhere about the exact meaning of these, but the letter P comes up a lot. You know, it looks like these were carved, they could have been carved all over and just certain ones have survived. Um, they could have been, some of them it looked like had been added to, like they've been added some kind of comp stone onto something that existed, like a mold, and then maybe I'll show you something about that later that looked pretty interesting. But those archways at the top also are, you can tell, are newer, a newer addition to this um, structure. But look at these pyramids, triangles, just different astrological symbols it looks like. So many different things. Letters. You know, and they're carved just enough to uh, continue to be in there and continue to still, like, stand the time. And you'll see some monuments in a second that are dedicated to uh, the Freemasons who who claim this. And uh, and I'm not saying that they couldn't, uh, like, these stones, you know, it's really just, a, it's kind of a simple structure, I guess, but it is very, I mean, you'd need some kind of machines to lift these blocks and some kind of intense pulley system. And I, I just think it would be a lot easier for these civilizations that we've been theorizing about who were bigger and a lot um, better at this stuff than I think humans were or, that, or are. I mean, you know, they might have been humans too, but you know, I'll go into it in a, another episode about the possibility of just there being stronger beings. It's all over Renaissance art. It's, you know, the art is amazing. And this is the same kind of viaducts that you see in Rome and different kinds of places like that in Europe, all over the place. And this is the monument that they placed a uh, nice little basilisk, a little, uh, I love these, obelisk, whatever, <laughs> uh, the Freemason symbol on that side. I'll get, a, I'll show you close-ups of these, uh, these designs on the top, all very symbolic, this one especially, the eye with the rays coming out of it. You know, it's a cover-up of something, I believe there's a capstone under there that's supposed to be dug up 300 years after, so about 100 years from now, it's supposed to be dug up, whatever's, I'll find out whatever's inside there. And they always mark it off. They tell how many distance, how much distance in miles from to the Great Lodge from there and to the city of Boston. And this is a beehive um, at the top of this one, which is also interesting. Green Lock, ancient free. I, I love that. This stuff is ancient. It was free to them. They got to claim it. You know, they put their names on it. They put their symbols on it. They carved it in, but they didn't do. I don't think they did the work. Some serious work, especially to still house the Acellus Bee Train. This design is amazing. I love it. it. Almost looks Celtic. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but got the pineapple with a little sword in there. I this one's kind of nuts. It looks like it's I don't even know. Like a very very interesting symbol. Distance to Boston, 12.6 miles. You know. So yeah, built in 2010. At this little monument, but they have another kind of stone this stone it seems to me that it was there a very long time ago and this has weird interesting things on it that I'm not sure what it means but there's a reason this random stones here and that's what I mean by the added concrete to rock 
And that looks like it says USA, something really old. I don't, I have no idea. This stone looks almost like a meteorite fell in the middle of this little park and they preserved it for a reason. I know they did. They know. And uh, hopefully we'll know. F, pretty, pretty sweet, you know. Guy had to tag his brick. He, like, what kind of egomaniacs have to really tag like a stone like this, on, or like to say that they were the ones that built it? And how many? Each one of them took a stone and decided to build a stone and carry it up there. So it just seems a little weak. Um, the true history, I'm sure, is pretty intense. I mean, this is again just a really strong place. And Canton has a lot of old structures around it. There's um, this, this, all the suburbs of Massachusetts and. Boston like have a lot of very interesting Tartarian-esque things. There's again Red Blick with the R, and a Mortar, is that, do they put blood in those things? Or you got, who knows what they mix into these, or what, who did what, what culture, you know, what's inside this? Is this structure hollow? Is there something down, is there like a shaft that goes down there? You know, there was a wide, the AF horse and carriage they used to carry over it, the train tracks, company is supposed to be the ones who built it in 1836 and that could be true but I you know you always got to question it but they say a train track company built it in 1836 and the train just started from Boston so they needed something down here but then again all those thoughts about the Google Earth how you can see those roads that go all over the place like you know just ancient layouts of cities that are all over the place in uninhabited areas and everything so I'm willing to believe that this stuff was laid out before these roads the highways again more of these interesting markings but I mean um, you know these I don't think they built this train path you know I think that existed same with a lot of the high tension wire paths and a lot of the highways I think were, um, were from a long time ago and from an older people that just had already done all that stuff for us already done all the clearing and zoning and building and planning like these guys did it all and it seems like we just came in and took over and this path was laid out and we just these people inevitably put a railroad on top of it and that's what was probably celebrated and you never know but I believe the path was already there it always blows my mind that this ancient civilization that was capable of creating all these amazing marvels of architecture somehow disappeared from this place and lost out to uh, the people who we are descendants of. I don't get it, but that's for another talk. And this is kind of the uh, dedication that happened at one point, which says something very interesting at the bottom. Yeah, constructed in 1835, and I like this part. Ken Viaduct is one of the two oldest surviving multiple arch stone railroad bridges still active. So the other one I showed you was the Carrollton one. And this structure is very interesting too. It looks a little old. It looks like they had some leftover stones or there was something else. You know, there were stones all over that tunnel, that bridge that's right near there. Like all different kinds of things. And this part looked like it was added as well. It looked like they had added a mold to maybe cover something. Like maybe some initial um, carvings or something were in there and they just covered it with something terrible. And there could have been some immaculate designs all over this or something and they just smoothed it out and carved their names into it or something. You know, you never know. And look at the top, the connections. Those are so sturdy. A lot of those were added later, but still, that thing is strong. It is not budging. It is just an amazing, amazing structure, and it's really massive. And these are the London stones that I saw with similar markings I found on Carving Stones Blogspot. Um, I, forget, I think something like that. I'll write it down underneath. But, you know, similar, very similar things all over the place. What is the truth? I hope we find out. I really do. If you get a chance, visit this place, Canton Viaduct. Canton, Massachusetts. It's really cool. And uh, keep thinking about Tartarian stuff. We need to discover all this. Our past was amazing. Let's rediscover it.